We definitely need to try to attract more people back here. All right, let's try to get that ad campaign going. Ad campaign for Dynamite Blaster. Just right there. We'll just do it for five weeks. And that should get some people scattered around the park a little bit better. Oh no, the blooper log of death is broken down. Hurry up, mechanic. Get to the scene of the crime. You gotta hurry before it's too late, before people die on their logs. From heat exhaustion and stuff. Once we get more money, we can decorate our park a little bit. So far, we're doing quite well. Let's see how we're doing on ratings. 775, we've already met that objective. I think we met the other one, too. Now we need 650 people, which should not be that hard. Make sure we set this maintenance time to every 10 minutes. Yeah, maybe the entrance would have been better down there. Probably would have been the best idea. Let's see what people are complaining about today. Okay, park map is too expensive. Cut the price down on that. Looper log of death for ages. Okay. Well, I can fix that. It's probably because there's four, five of them going at the same time here. Let's grab an entertainer. Pop him down right there. Make sure he can only walk through this spot here and he'll entertain the guests so they don't get pissed off. Get ourselves a swinging ship. Put the swinging ship right here next to this one. Putting rides next to rides, a very good idea. Extend our line out. That is perfect. That's all we need. Line isn't too long, people won't get pissy. I don't have to pay for bear entertainers. Some poor kid getting paid minimum wage to do this shit. Let's see if they're still complaining about my fees. I want to get off blooper log of death. Apparently it is way too long. Yeah, these people are taking forever to get through here, probably because it broke down. But that is about to change. Yeah, that seems to be the biggest issue is Looper Log of Death. It's a lot more memorable when you give it a ridiculous name and then you don't forget what the ride is. People really like the Scrambled Eggs one. Call it the scrambled brains. At least give it something memorable. Who's responsible for this area? Much better. 
Come on, bear, entertain faster. This is slave labor. Let's throw down another bench right there. So we are still at maximum funding. Make sure this thing is set for every 10 minutes inspection as well. That way we won't have as many breakdowns and people won't get pissed off as frequently. I hear people puking. Build some more paths through the park here so we can disperse the people a little better. Just connect this right over to this area. Put some trash cans along the way. You do not want an overcrowded park. People don't like that very much. Gotta keep the people happy. Give them what they want. I'm pretty low on funds. Let's see if anyone is talking about great values. Everybody wants to get off the damn plooper log. I'm sorry my plooper log is not good enough for you. Kill yourself. This must be a really long ride. What's the time on this thing? Cool. Five minutes. Damn. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Not much I can do about that. The ride's not going to go any faster. So I don't think there's any way to increase the chain speed. And I'm not going to shut the ride down to find out. People are still complaining about the cost of this thing? Come on. What are you expecting to pay? Standing in line for move, bitch. Get out the way for a while. There is one way to fix this. And that is to get rid of some of the line. So we'll keep it like that. Those people will disperse momentarily. And that will make the line significantly shorter so people can't complain. Sorry, I can only have 12 cars at a time. Let's lower the number of laps to one. That might make things a little better. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep the line about that long. I think one lap will do it. This guy's way in the back. But he's using this bathroom, apparently. He's not very frequently. What you people complaining about today? Eh, not much I can do for you there, people. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Okay. There's something we can do. Let's shorten the line for this guy as well. I 
and people won't get so pissed off. And you have a new assignment. Actually, no you don't. It's probably the best spot for you. Stay up there. And we'll just keep his assignment right in that area. Keep all the guests happy. Let's make another one right here. So we can try to keep some guests inside the park. And they can also hit this line at the same time. I think we should probably build out a little scenery. Let's throw down some flowers. will increase the excitement rating for our rides. Doesn't really matter where you put it, as long as it's nearby. So I'm just gonna spam mouse click and just put tons of flowers around this. Looks kind of silly, but it does increase your ratings. And that's what we want. We want more people to like the ride. Not sure how this thing is staying up. I've completely eliminated the supports. But you know, it's a Vigi game. And Vigi games can do what they want. Probably should have checked that before I put those down. But people want the park to look good, so. We're just going to have gardens everywhere. It's a nice cheap scenery and people like it. Sexy. It's beautiful. So many flowers, so little time. I'm gonna spend all my money on freaking flowers. don't necessarily have to build them everywhere. We just want to kind of get them around rides and things of that nature. Increasing the exci excitement level. Excitement is very high now. Let's jack the price up to like 550. Putting scenery around can really allow you to jack the prices up quite a bit in some cases. Right, we got lots of people in line for this guy now. Jack it up to 550. Dude, I could probably get away with six bucks. People pay ridiculous prices in this game. What are you saying? Uh, too intense. It's not the price, that's the problem. I also like their little reactions too. You'll see some of them jump, or they'll turn out their pockets if they don't have enough money, things like that. Attention to detail. It's very nice for a game from Everybody happy. This thing has no supports anymore. It is magically floating. I should have that as an attraction, you know. We have the magical floating blooper log of death. Come out to our park and see it. We 
we got a suspended roller coaster. Very cool. We'll be able to utilize that in a little bit. Let's do an advertising campaign for the park. Or... Oh, we, don't have, we don't have enough money at the moment, so we'll hold off. I spent all my money on friggin' flowers. Try to increase excitement. Excitement went up a little bit there. It does increase them in small increments. Sometimes as much as a point. Which will let me increase costs. Where's my maintenance man? There he is. I see him go into action. What you people complaining about? Oh, come on. I shortened the line. Dramatically. Go, go, gadget, on-rail shooter. That one's been taking a while. But that's okay. Nothing I can do about those. They are just slow rides. I don't think this one can increase in speed at all, so... A lot of people complaining that they have a park map. And a lot of sick people as well, but that is just kind of how this game goes. Probably stick another bathroom. Like right there. Probably a good decision. And some french fries. Get some french fries going. I don't think I have a lot of food stalls around, so that's a good idea. Same price throughout the park for the french fries. We have another stall. Oh man. Can't fit it there. Another one right by the entrance. Next to none of the intense rides. Come on, people, get your food. A lot of people in line over here. That's always a good thing. If you put your exit right next to your entrance line, a lot of the people will just go right back into the line. So it's very strategic to make sure that people pass by your entrance when they're coming out of the exit. Probably works in real life, too. It all makes sense now. Price on this guy up to six bucks. These people will pay it. Scrambled eggs is having a hard time. People don't want to go on it, so let's drop the price a little bit. How much money is this thing making us? It's a reasonable amount. Man, they can't get to the... Ah. Okay, I see what the problem is. Could not tell from this angle that I stuck it way down there, but okay. Glad it gives me those warnings. That was a good thing to know. So let's stick it right there, and we're going to activate it. Now people can get to my french fries. Ho oh ho! Let's see where our cleaners are patrolling. Probably going to need another one. So let's hire another one. Have them set for this little path here. And right down into this area. Well, I had a guy dedicated to that area, so let's put him right down in this spot. Just have him patrol there. Also get rid of mow grass. 
No, not the dynamite blaster. How dare you break down. You're my most expensive ride. Well, this thing is too, but... I'm guessing the cars are in the tunnel because I don't see them. Yep, here they come. One thing I probably should have done was set this to continuous circuit. Um, that would probably save us some time so that the cars would just move all the time. But I think this uh, increases excitement a little bit when you put it into race mode, so it's probably worth it that I can jack up the price. I definitely want to build one of these suspended coasters. They're pretty cool. I think we have a carousel, so let's stick a carousel towards the back here. Make this a fairly intense one right next to the roller coaster. Nope, not that. Hmm. Trying to make this a little bit less awkward. Okay, we're gonna have to put this in a different spot. This is not gonna work. Stick it right there, and we'll use this as sort of a connecting path to get us somewhere else later on. and to disperse the crowd a little bit. It's kind of hard to have a logical layout on this map. It's because of all these hills I have to work with. It's not economical to flatten them out, and it does increase excitement if I utilize them, so it's worth it. There we go. I'll just go ahead and turn that on. call this the rotating deaf machine. That's a name for the kitties. And we'll jack the price up. Like three bucks. Actually, let's put it at 250 for starters. Good to me. Still waiting on more research to come through. I'm gonna go ahead and activate all of these now so we can mix up what we're funding. All right, so the park is fairly stable. So at this point, I think I'm going to cut ahead to when something interesting happens. So I'll see you guys in the next one.